Welcome to Statistics in Excel video number 26. As always, if you want to download this workbook, go to my college website and you can download the workbook Business 210 Chapter 2. Hey, in this video, we got to talk about the pivot tables. To, we're continuing with pivot tables for frequency distribution, but we want to create a cumulative and percent cumulative frequency distribution. Hey, let's scroll down here, and here's our data set. Our sample of boomerang sales from www.boomerangs.com. And we want to build a cumulative frequency distribution for the sales category here, the sales field. As always, when you're doing a pivot table, you have to have field names at the top, records in rows, and no blanks. Then you click in one cell, go to Insert, Pivot Table, Pivot Table. Or you can use the keyboard shortcut Alt, and there's an N, so I'll hit N. Then there's a V, so I'll hit V, and then a T. It's guessing that that's the range, and since we have it, the data set up correctly, that is correct. I'm going to dump it into this existing worksheet. Where is the location? Maybe something like L20. So I clicked on cell L20, and then click OK. Now we need to group. So we're going to go to our field list here, and we need to group by sales. So I'm going to drag this to the row labels. And while I'm at it, I'm also going to drag the sales to the value area. That way we can close this. Now we need to group. This is decimal data. And since we talked about this in earlier videos, the labels will come out ambiguously when you group and there's decimal data. Not when there's integers, but there are decimals. We have an easy way to fix it. You just have to pay close attention to that. I'm going to right click in this row area and group. Now in earlier videos we also saw the calculating that went into determining where you start your group and the class interval. I'm going to start at 0 and we're going to end at 300 and we're going to group by $50. So we'll have 0 up to $50, $50 up to 100, etc. Click OK. Now there's a couple problems. The labels here, there's a 50 there and a 50 there. That is ambiguous. Where does the 50 go? Well, Excel doesn't make any mistakes. It's just the labels don't tell the viewer that. The 50 will always go here, because really it's 50 up to and not including 100. Here it's 100 up to and not including 150. Let's go ahead and change that. As we did in our earlier video, we highlighted this whole range right here. And we notice that there's a dash in each cell. So we can use the Replace feature to very quickly change that. Control-H. Control-H is the Replace. I'm going to click on the Replace. I have a dash, because that's what I want to find in all of these. And what do I want to put in its place? Space. Up. Space. Two. Space. That is seven characters, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, including the spaces. That way, the zero and the 50 won't be crowded right next to the, uh, the words up and two. Click Replace All. That is amazing. What a great, quick way to have unambiguous labels. Now, there's another problem here. We want to count. Um, and we need to have a cumulative frequency. That means if we have 97 sales here and 45 here, it should say 97 and then 143 here. Because from less than 100, we're going to have 143 sales. That's the meaning of a cumulative frequency distribution. So let's uh, go to this field settings. And we're going to change three different aspects of the field here. Right click. Value field settings. Now the first thing we need to do is change the function. So we're going to click on count. Then um, we're going to show values as. And we're going to come over here to the drop down. And we use percentage of row and column in a bunch of pivot tables already. <gasps> but look at this one. Running total in. Perfect for cumulative total. And we're going to have to change this too. Let's uh, change the name. We're going to change it to CUM period, frequency period. So in essence, when you're doing field settings, there's four things you can change. The name, the function which we changed. We changed the show values as running total. We actually forgot one thing here. We want to scroll down here and say sales, running total in the sales. The, the fourth thing we would do is uh, number formatting. But right now, it'll come out just fine. Click OK. 
And there it is. There's our running total. We didn't have to create any fancy formula or anything. 97, 143. The meaning of cumulative frequency means uh, for the class, uh, less than 100 all the way down to 0, 143 sales were made. So under 100 bucks, there were 143 sales. Now let's add, let's add some formatting here. I'm going to go up to Design. Click that little drop down there. Maybe select that one. Now, uh, not all calculations could be done in a pivot table, but you can do something clever. We can click over here and just build something in a cell and build a formula that looks into the pivot table. Uh, we're going to type percent cumulative frequency here, and then Enter. And I'm going to highlight this whole range right here. And in the light colored cell at the top, I'm going to type my formula. Equals, now watch this. If I click right there, I get this huge pivot table uh, data. And it's their locked cell references and everything. So I don't really want that. This is a case, you actually can turn this off. It's easy to turn off. You can either add a button or, or various ways. But we're not going to turn it off right now. We're just going to type in this cell reference because really what we want is 97 divided by 200. And then when we, as we copy down, we want one cell to my left divided by that 200. So watch this. M21. Now it's dangerous to type uh, cell references is because I'm a bad typer, for instance. And <laughs> look, I got the wrong one, so I got to be re real careful. But luckily, this is called Range Finder. It gives you a, a blue coding, and if it's close in, you can tell. So we want M21 divided by, and it looks like M26, but we want to put our dollar sign in dollar sign M dollar sign 26. Oh! I accidentally hit uh, tab, so I'm going to highlight the whole range. And with the light colored cell at the top, I'm going to hit F2 to put it back into edit mode. And there it is. Um, we've created our formula, so now we can hold control and tap enter. Because we've highlighted the whole range in advance, when we put something into the top light colored cell, when we hit control enter, we're telling Excel to populate all of the cells with the thing. In this case, it's a formula. And there it is. We can add some percentage format now. Control-1 is the keyboard shortcut for, uh, uh, for format cells. And we're going to click Percentage, and then click OK. Now I'm going to highlight this right here, because I like that format, and I want to apply it there. I'm going to go up to the Home ribbon, and there's our Format Painter. I'm going to click on that once. You can see the cursor with the Format Painter. And then I'm going to click in the top cell, and it will apply it all the way down. So there you go. There is a cumulative frequency. We could see that uh, 90, oh, I'm going to have to redo this uh, darn, this format of control 1%. Click OK. I might even have to do uh, home borders, all borders there too. But now I can very quickly see that 90% uh, of the sales were for less than $150. That is how this cumulative frequency and percent cumulative frequency distribution works, making a pivot table. We saw earlier how to create our OJIVE chart, and you could easily redo that from a pivot table. All right, we'll see you next video.